Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is a match between myself and Captain Gouda. Oh wait a minute, let's restart that. Alright. Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is my matchup against Captain Gouda, the first of top eight. Now, Captain Gouda is first seed, I'm eighth seed. Captain Gouda gets to be on the play. Uh, and I am rocking. Oh, hello. Uh, taking turns. It is this deck. It's the same one you've seen. Decklist is in the description. You may want to check the decklist, uh, the description for Captain Gouda's decklist, though, because I am working on trying to get that to come up. It's there isn't a an MTG Goldfish link, unfortunately. All right. So this is a blast zone, I presume. It's it's laggy. My computer's a little laggy. Sorry about that. Ooh, you know what that reminds me? I should probably kill some of my programs on here. So, uh, let me let me do that real quick. Oh, it's a chalice. That's a chalice. Hello. I have no idea how this is being seen. Oh my goodness. My computer hates me. That's what I'm going with. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Alright. Ooh, should it resolve your turn? Yeah, uh... Yup. That's a card. That's a card. Alright. Yeah, that means this Mox in the hand is uh, not going to do so much. You see that lag? You saw when has drawn one card from deck to hand came up in chat? And then how long it took to show that? Jeez. Okay, well, we're going to play an island and we'll pass the turn, I believe. I believe that's right. On the next turn, I'm probably in trouble. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I'm supposed to do Jace Belera next turn, and then try to go Time Walk, and, ooh, yup. By the way, there's a hard limit on how much time my uh, camera can go, so if at some point the video cuts out, the reason is because my card just ran out of space, so sorry about that. Itchy nose is itchy. Jeez, this is going to be huge. Huge, I say. Alright. Um. Yeah, I, I should do the fetch land here, I believe, because that fuels the yard for Jace. But, let's see. So, I, I'd like to transform Jace so I can get flashback time walk to be a thing. Um, and I can cast the mox just to get it in the yard if I need to. Uh, it is, I, you know. It is fuel, I suppose. Let's see. Only thing is, will that one damage matter? So, let's assume it's going to be both Overseers. This is going to go into the factory. The factory is going to hit me for five. If I'm at 14, the next turn, and by the way, these are going to be, uh, they're going to have, yeah, they're going to have three next turn. And so the turn after that, it'll be five, four, four. Ooh, that's cutting it real close. Yeah, but I, I believe I'm supposed to do this, so we will go fetch, and then I'm just going to get owned by Ballista. That's how this works. That is indeed how this works. Find card. Now, by the way, because this is top eight, we're going to we're playing worlds format, so we're going to have the first two be main board only games, and then the remaining ones will be uh, will be sideboard. So those energy fluxes will come in handy when I get around to him. Hello? Hello? Hey, we got there. Jace, baby Jace. Show me what you got. And then pass the turn. Uh, animate? Mmm! I'm, uh, I'm gonna put that in chat. Yep. Oh, so it animated itself, by the way. It spent the one mana to animate itself. You know I'm dead next turn, so... This is, uh, this is a problem, folks. Untap. Draw. I believe, let, let's do some math here. Uh, at the very minimum, we're looking at five... Oh, jeez. Uh, 4, 4, so 13, plus 
three. Yeah, so that's sixteen. Huh. And if they forgo the three on this, it'll still be sixteen because it'll be adding a counter to each of those. So I might have another turn, but let's operate under the reasonable assumption that I will not. So we're gonna go one, two, time walk. And that should be good. Yep. Okay. And draw. Discard Mox. Next turn. I should actually just copy that. I might need that a good bit. You know, just maybe. Yeah. Alright, cool. It's just to make sure. By the way, it's three cards in the yard here. So that means that if I go preordain first, then I'll be able to transform Baby Jace. And that seems pretty good by me, because then I'll get the extra turn starting now. Uh, it's not necessarily ideal, but there's no way we're getting to Jace the Mind Sculptor plus uh, Time Walk in the same turn. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I, I really would like to not have to sacrifice Jace here. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can also do Snapcaster Flashback Time Walk. Um, let's cash in our wild card, right? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do here? Cash in the wild card? I believe that that's correct. So we're going to... Look at the top two. See what we have. Land for another extra turn. Preordain. Hmm. That doesn't sound bad. Preordain's a little uh, underwhelming here, I think. So, preordain. So, if I play the. I'm gonna obviously transform Jace here and then take another turn, because I don't wanna die. Uh, but then after that. I can go land this. Oh, you know what? I'm about to have to discard the preordain. Unless I'm discarding Jace. I can't really discard Jace here though, because Jace is the win con in the in this situation. Uh, I need to Jace and just take a whole lot of turns. So I think I'm supposed to put this on the bottom of the deck. Bottom of deck. And then draw, put that in the yard, and you see that's four cards. Activate Jace, take a wild card, discard, it doesn't really matter in this spot which one, well it might, it might matter for Jace. So I believe I'm supposed to keep the, no, no I'm about to have to crack the one I don't anyway, uh, in order to have five for time warp. And if I play Jace otherwise, there's no way that Jace is living. So I'm pretty much on the, I'm not giving you another turn plan. Oh boy. This is fun, folks. This is fun. Magic is a fun game. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. I can take my chances. I can take my chances and just use Jace as a plus. Jace will die, un unless I die on the next turn. And then I can... No, no, I can't. No, that's not... That's not right. That's not right. It it's one of the lands, though. It's one of the lands. We're not at a point where we can afford to not have Jace do his thing. It's not great. I... I could unsummon, but that's really, really not great. That's really where I, not where I would like to be. Uh, just slowing my opponent down ever so slightly. I don't even think that changes the clock. All right, we're gonna deck then, I guess. Hello. All right. Hello. There we go. Took it long enough, but it got there. It's 
starts at 5. Uh, we're going to go up to 2. To flashback. Time walk. Next turn. Next turn. May I count? Oh. Oh crap. I don't know what I just did. Alert response, draw on a card. I typed outside of chat. LOL. Alright. Yeah, not, not ideal. Not what I was meaning to do. So, we'll fetch. Hello? Why is it not letting me do anything with this? What is going on here? There it goes. I don't know. I don't know what was happening. Something silly, as Evangeline might say. Something silly. There, I'm not winning this, but I'm going to put up a fight. I'm going to put up a fight. There we go. Next turn. Uh-oh. Yeah, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. We have gotten to a spot where we cannot keep going. Okay, so now what I'm what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to play the Jace. Once again though, unsummon doesn't save me, so let's let's do the math again really quickly. If they simply attack, is is there a way that they can do it? We're gonna have three 7, 11, 16. If they tap this one and only this one, they also have 16 because they're subtracting 3, but gaining 3. If they tap 2, then they're going to end up with... Uh, this is 7 and... Oh, it's so Yeah, so unless they have like a walking ballista going down, they don't have me next turn. Uh, so there's no point really in unsummoning here. I can't save the Jace and... It isn't going to keep me alive. So I believe I'm just supposed to brainstorm. Brainstorm. So let's add counter. Alright, and here we go. Here goes nothing. One, two, three. Put these two back. We would not like to draw those. We can help it. And then, um, plus targeting, let's see how this is worded, this one. I mean, because why not, I, I suppose. And then, pass turn. So yeah, what I said about there not being enough space, there will not be enough space. I think even if I get three out here, which is pretty likely. I don't think there will be enough space. I am too slow with this deck, too slow with this interface, and uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. By the way, while this is being judged at competitive REL, um, thankfully the mistake that I made earlier, I, I drew a card from typing, may I take an extra turn? Oh, what is that? Revoker! Uh-oh. Resolves. <clears throat> Yikes. So they can leave whichever one. I think that, well, the Mind Sculpt, it doesn't matter because they're going to just kill the other one. 
Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, so now they don't have to kill Jace. Oh boy. Wait. Oh, we're, we're tapping. We're tapping them. Okay. And the others are attacking? Presumably? Okay. Alright. Uh, just to clarify, both at Jace, just to clarify. Alright. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Uh. Huh. Let's, uh, put this in the yard, then. There we go. We got there. Right. <clears throat> Going to fetch. Find card. Jay, do not forget to shuffle this time. Because this thing does not do it, um, for you automatically. I understand why it doesn't, it's just a little odd, I suppose. Or at least it seems that way to me. Alright. Can we get there? Maybe. Here's to hoping. Cool. We're gonna do some deck thinning now since we can't use Jace. Just to try get try to make it ever so slightly more likely. And now that I'm out of basics, all the other fetch lands are dead. Although we're at the maximum amount of mana we'll ever need for this. Alright, so untap, upkeep draw. Jeez. Da-da, 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 ta-da, ta-da. Let's move you into here. There we go. All right. Next will be untap, draw. Well, please be. So that's that's fine. Uh, we'll go to combat first. Two. If this gets rid of the revoker, it'll be okay. It will be okay. We got there. We got there, folks. Alright, we're on the Snapcaster Mage beatdown plan, I guess. Could I please find a Kefnet, please? Pretty please? Four? Kefnet would be great. Kefnet would be really great. Would you like to give me my Jace the Mind Sculptor back? At some point, you're going to have to. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I don't bother tapping. Oh, geez. Does that change anything? It might. It might. Four? It legitimately might. Captain Gooded was not sure that I was actually drinking coffee at 10 at night. This is coffee. I need it. Oh, Captain Gudo went AFK for a sec. I think that's what that means. I believe. Yet, yeah, folks, this is probably just going to end up being a, uh, the, the video will have to cut out at some point, and I apologize for that. When it does, I'll just turn the music up a little bit, I guess. Maybe do some commentary on it afterwards. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so there we go. Alright. Cool. Let's do that again. <laughs> Uh-oh. We didn't get there, folks. Pfft. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Make sure I'm in chat. No doubt. Huh. That's kind of mana. Kind of. Sorta kinda. Kinda sorta. So I just read the most depressing manga today. And I'm not sure I should say what it is. One, because it's embarrassing. And two, because it will get somebody else depressed. So, <laughs> maybe DM me about it, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, fun. Okay, well, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. Um, yeah, I think they got me. I don't know what's left in their hand, but I'm pretty sure they've got me here. I get one more draw step to try to get myself out of this. I'm not going to attack. Although, this now means... Wait a minute, shouldn't I attack? Because... If I'm not going to die anyway, and there's no way these guys can do anything but chump block. Wait a minute. 5, 10, 14. Am I seeing that correctly? 17 even. I should concede, shouldn't I? Uh, attack with 1? Yeah, attack with one. No, attack with neither. Ooh, ooh. Attack with one. Two. Alright. Final answer. Regis. Alright. Yeah. Okay, good times. Good times. I ignore what I said earlier, I should concede. You win 0% of the games we can see. Loading. <laughs> oh geez. Uh, okay. That's legit. That's legit. Inspector. All right, there we go. Let me just confirm that these are counters being placed. All right, we're, we are. We are. We're confirming it, folks. Uh, yeah, that means this is out of range. All right, so just these three, it seems. For six, twelve... I can do math, I promise. Uh, sixteen. Put me to one. No more fetch lands, but I'm not going to be doing any more fetching anyway. Swinging for 16? Oh, 10. Hmm. I like what you're doing there. Okay. I like it. Pass the turn. Do it. Do it. Pass the turn. You know you want to. Sometimes I wish I had Chain of Vapor in the deck. Uh, chain would be nice. Get rid of Revoker if they sack a land. Everything they give me would be fine. Except maybe the Mind Sculptor. Alright. Come on. Top Decks of Glory. Did I just untap again? Okay. Hello? Game two. That wasn't happening. Whew. Yeah. Uh, it, this is how I press the button. It's still loading, folks. If anyone wonders why I don't stream, this is why. <laughs> This is why. My internet is terrible. Let's start a new game. Okay. 
So we might make it if, if it ends up being a 3-0. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I can keep seven cards, too. That'd be nice. Oh, jeez. What is going on? Oh, boy. Not this again. Nope. Nope. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna bother. Well, at least Captain's at six as well. All right, hit the button. Let's see how long it's gonna take. So how was your day? Mine was fine. I'm wearing my loudest pants. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, boy. Well, this this is easy. We, we put a Snapcaster Mage on the bottom. All right. Hello? There you are. The, the most high curb. I see that that's four cards. That's a uh, it's not great. It's not usually where you want to be, folks. I'm just spoiler alert. It's usually not where you want to be. So we'll start out with the basic land because we're we're actually looking for lands here. Uh, Preordain. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this resolves. Look at the top two. I am gonna speed up a little bit for the camera's sake. There's a Kefnet and an extra turn spell. Uh, we would like this is only instants and sorceries. Yeah, if that had been a medallion, we'd be in slightly better shape. Kefnet's such a good card, I really would not like to have to put it on the bottom. So we're going to put this on the bottom, and hope that I get to use a preordain, the other preordain, uh, to try to get there. Like, I can, I can win with Kefnet. Kefnet's a good enough card on his own. Uh, that'll get me there. If I can make four mana, is the trick. Four mana, four creature. Sorry, Baral. You're you're pretty cool, but not not what I what I need right here. Okay, so let's see. And Brawl being three toughness matters sometimes. Walking Blista being the, the key example. That is a Oh, it's a Mistress Workshop. One. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what you expect. Nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna say it resolves. Okay. So we'll draw, and this is a fresh card. Oh, okay. Well, not not great. Not great. Now that we can't use cantrips anymore, let's just fetch and get out Baral, and hope we can get there from here. It's not looking particularly great for the T1 Glistener Elf, but for the for T1 Glistener Elf. But you know what? This was my casual deck anyway. This was my not so serious deck. So I I can live with this. Worst things have happened, and I, I will chalice check him if I need to at some point. Okay, is that a land? That's an ancient tomb. Okay, so we got there. We got there. I like it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> LOL. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a Ravager. I could really use a land here. I'm gonna Chalice check. I'm gonna make you do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, got there. Had to make you do it. Whale, whale. We're two lands away from being able to cast these time walks, and I don't think we really have time, unfortunately. All right, so what's this? This is a big ballista? Yep, it's a big ballista. All right, I, I won't concede, but that's not looking great. <laughs> that's really not looking great. A uh, ballista could just outright kill Baral here. That's not good. Oh yeah, I, I'll give him the okay. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Would you like to attack with... No, okay. Alright. Nope, that's it. What can get me out of this? This, by the way, remember, was a multi-four. 
this had been a medallion, I'd still be dead. And I'm dead next turn, so... Game three. Woo! Let's see. Gouda won that one, so let's go to sideboard. Let's bring in all the cards. Hello? Please? Anytime? Okay, okay. Damping Sphere? If I'm on the play, Damping Sphere is actually a thing. Um, it's not much of a thing, but it is a thing. It's... so Energy Flux comes first. Hercules Recall. We are going all in. I, I actually won't do Damping Sphere this game. And then we have to take out eight cards. And that's usually pretty simple. Let me uh, go back through here just to make sure that there aren't any dead cards. So Snapcaster Mage is not good here. Snapcaster Mage is not a great card for this matchup. Yeah, and then we just take out... I'm going to take out... Huh. So this would leave me with two Jace Friends Prodigy, two God Eternal Kefnet, and a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Two, two, and one, so five. Yay, let's go. Not a lot of win cons. I'm on the play, and Forcible is usually not good against shops anyway, in my opinion. Usually. I mean, that, that word is doing an awful lot of work in that sentence, but usually it's not. And then we'll take out Time Warp. It doesn't really matter, but Time Warp targets I, it's just my go-to to take, because there's zero chance misdirection would be here, but if it were, you know, okay. So yeah, let's save it. Let's go. Please, Keepable 7. Let's go, Keepable 7. That's a Keepable 7, question mark? This, this hand doesn't do anything, though. I mean, I can get a turn one extra turn. I think I'm supposed to mull, though. Let's mull again. I mean, when you have eight hate cards in your deck and you find zero of them, I think that's worth a mull. Hello? Anytime now. Has shuffled their deck. I'm not touching it. It's, it's still going. Okay. Uh... Well, this also doesn't really... This actually does something, kind of. Um, I'm going to be able to get a Black Lotus out early. So before a Chalice on Zero or a Trinisphere. And I'll be able to start taking extra turns pretty quickly. So I'm going to keep... Uh, let's put... Time Warp on the bottom. I forget, I can't just drag it over. Deck. Bottom. And yes, it could have been Medallion, but I would really like to be able to get Kefnet and Jace at 3 mana, if I can help it. Alright. Keep. Hello? Keep. There we go. Um, so ways I can go about this. Black Lotus into Medallion now, just to make these cheaper, but... I'd rather save the Black Lotus, sort of. So we can do Black Lotus here. I believe that that's correct. I'm supposed to play the Black Lotus ahead of time. Although, there is a... Let's look at the list. Let's look at your list, Captain Gouda. Alright, this is it. I'm assuming four Revokers? Two... Uh, four Revokers, there we go. Two Metamorphs. Four Revokers to punish me if I play it light. One Chalice, one Trinisphere, some Spheres, to punish me for playing it early. And Thorn, of course. Um, so this is interesting. This is interesting to me. I, I still believe it's probably correct to play the Lotus first. I could go Lotus, Medallion, uh, and then... No, let, yeah, let's do it this way. Play Lotus and pass. Alright, go ahead. Alright. Let's see how much time I have. 30 minutes, okay. If this goes 3-0, we'll, we'll get the whole thing. Or 0-3, I guess. Depends on whose team you're on. I can't see what it is yet. Mox? Yeah, that's good. 
let's call that good. So we're going to say no response. Yeah, I also kept a hand that didn't have any hate pieces in it either. That may not have been correct. I'm assuming that if, if I can make it to five mana, or five mana, that I'll be able to go into... Um, like an, I'll, be, I'll have more chances to draw Energy Flux or Hercules Recall or whatnot. There's a Chalice. Uh, presume oh, on zero. Okay. So, I, I did that correctly. Uh, the Black Lotus coming out early was correct. Or, if there's a Revoker here, I'm in trouble either way. Thorn. Oh, okay. So this will negate the Medallion coming down. Alright, pass to me, please. Nope, okay, so we did have lands. I cannot see what this is. Uh, Sphere Resistance. Oh, yeah, that's a Mishra's Workshop. Okay. Alright, so we're good. We're good. So we will draw a card. Yeah, it's a, it's a fetch land. I'm okay with that. Now I have to crack the Black Lotus if I would like to play this medallion now. Which I might. Uh, but that only negates one of these. And right now I don't need to. So we're just going to pass. Oh, you too. Thank you. I could use it, lol. I cannot see what that is. Non-artifact spells cost one more to cast. Oh, that's a lodestone- god, that's a lodestone golem. Okay, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble, folks. There's an energy flux. Uh, so now, I do crack the Black Lotus. I have a lot of cracking to do, folks. Uh, and they are not going to be pay for, able to pay for all of this. I mean, the Lodestone Goblin is going to make it for a, a hot minute. But just a hot minute. So, find cards. Ooh, hello. Well, we sort of got there. One, two, three. Crack the Black Lotus. Energy Flux. That's called a top deck of glory. And then we'll pass. Upkeep Ripperino. It's life. Tis life. Okay. So we're not... Wait, 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 wait. That happened so quickly. I, I missed it. Okay. So, I think what happened there is the Moxen were used to pay for Lodestone Golem. Okay, that, that appears to be right. Okay, and both of these are going to have to stay around. One, two, three, eight. Okay. Swing seven. Moxen paid for LG, right? Just making sure. Alright. So then... Oh, because this had to be used to animate it. That's right. Yes. Okay, we got there. We got there, folks. Uh, so this Sapphire Medallion is now very, very dead. I'm about to take five here. And then I'll pass. I still need to find something else. Alright, upkeep, we're gonna pay for the golem. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna take five. Oh, there's an ancient tomb. Uh-oh. That means next turn's gonna be lethal, actually. Because they can use the ancient tomb to animate, or to pay for it. Oh jeez, what's happening? Foundry inspector. Okay. That makes actual zero difference. I'm dead either way. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Cestral Recall. 
I guess I need Land Hercules Recall? Is that what I'm seeing here? I believe that that's my only out at this point. <laughs> oh well. You're a gem of this community. Simwa. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Resolves. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, jeez, I can't spell. Oh, thank you. Alright. Okay, we, there's one. We got there, folks. Yes! Yes! Oh, we got there. Oh, my goodness. I called it. I called it. Ah, good times. Good times. <laughs> Jeez. I love this game so much. I, I cannot tell you how much I love this game. This is a good stinking game, folks. Now, we're still not out of the woods just yet. This is this is basically if gonna be a double time walk, kind of. Alright. No, no, it's just a single time walk, because this. We got there. Alright. What's that? I, I can't tell what that is. Ancient Tomb? Maybe? Yeah, that's Wasteland. Wait a minute. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. I'm still dead in the turn. Hmm. So I believe I'm supposed to ponder here and then play Baby Jace. I believe that that's correct. Ponder. Look at the top three, see what we get. Hmm. Okay. That's a time walk, so that's fine. Or do I need to shuffle? Yeah, I need to shuffle, because this, this line of three cards does not get me out of this. I can time walk here, take an extra turn. On the next turn, I still won't have a land. So I think I'm supposed to shuffle and draw a card. Just get a fresh look. Alright. Shuffle, and then draw. Okay. That's, that's decent, I think. Hello? There we go. Tag gods. <laughs> Alright, we got there. Okay. We're still in big trouble. Alright. I know how that works. I know how that works. Alright, so this means that Jace does not save me. I mean, I already knew that, but it definitely means that Jace does not save me. I need a land. That is not a land. Ah, uh, well when I was building the deck, I was debating whether this was going to be... Like, what this was going to be. There is some opportunity cost of legendary cards, but it's too good to pass up. Ah, uh, man. 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 So close. We needed a land.
Keep a bill. GG. I mean, making top 8 with a meme deck, that's okay. Oh, jeez. Thought it was supposed to keep reveal. Oh, jeez. Where'd you go? Oh, you left. Oh, did you have to go? Oh, that's that's a drag. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is the double energy flux, but with land creatures, that doesn't save you. And that's one of the reasons why Mishra's Factory is such a powerful card in this deck. Uh, or just in general. Mistress Factory is, is great for getting you out of spots like that. There's a lot of artifact hate, like Energy Flux being a huge one that Mistress Factory just does not care about. Uh, it still cares about Hercules Recall, and there's a reason it's a 4 of, but... Yeah, if we had gotten one more land, if this had been a land instead, we get to take an extra turn, take an extra turn, but we probably still don't get there, to be honest. Um, but, the meme deck made top 8, so... I can't be too mad about it, right? What, what's the what's the the quote? It's only a game. Why well, you have to be mad? <laughs> all right, that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Um. Oh, oh, oh one more, one more thing. Shout out to Rukulin, one of my followers, who regularly makes suggestions and improvements to the deck, uh, noting that. Uh, while Sensei's Divining Top is great for setting up with Kefnet, setting up extra turns with Kefnet, uh, if you'd like to reuse the same cards over and over again, Scroll Rack is the one that you're looking for. And I don't know how I didn't think about it, because I was thinking of Scroll Rack uh, in Legacy for Miracles after Sensei's Divining Top got banned. But, oh, that would have made way too much sense. And this deck has a lot of cards it could use getting rid of temporarily. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's, uh, <laughs> that's taking turns in Vintage. There are much better options, folks. <laughs> I guess if you have, like, a, a, a Vintage tournament with a 15-card proxy limit, this is a great deck, actually. This is a great deck. Uh, it very easily seems to satisfy that, I believe. But other than that... <laughs> I love this game so much. Alright, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>